Thousands are going to come to Minneapolis this weekend to explore Northern Spark. It's an annual arts festival that takes place dusk to dawn on the second Saturday of June. We have video from past years, but people can always expect something new. The best part, it is free. We, of course, were going to do this outside, but with the rain, we decided to bring it inside yeah. <laughs> today. Uh, Steve Dietz, Rory Alt, and Liz Wollner, thank you all for being with us this morning. Good morning. Uh, Steve, you're the artistic director of uh, the Northern Spark Festival. Tell us a little bit about uh, how this got started and what the goal is. Well, it got started uh, six years ago, so we're in our sixth year. And the goal really is to create a community-based arts festival that in, uh, shows off the hundreds and thousands of artists who make the Twin Cities such an exciting place. So it's really thousands of people and come and take make the city an art gallery for one night. And we have two of the artists here today. You do. So Liz and Rory, you have brought some examples of possibly what we could see. I mean, this there there are no rules, right, when it comes to the exhibits that people are going to see. No right. rules. How'd you come up with what you're going to present? Um, so we, uh, you know, the, the theme for the festival is, is climate change, climate chaos. So uh, we decided to... Um, you know, how, how can we make something interactive for, for guests to come uh, work with? And so we decided to come up with a climate carnival. Um, so we have carnival games with a, a sustainability and a, a climate twist to them. Cool. We're going to show some. Why don't we show them right now? This is. Uh, yeah, so this, this is, is a, like a. It looks like a Plinko almost. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's a Plinko style game. Um, we got some. Uh, so we got uh, recycled bottle caps here oh, to awesome. actually do the playing. And, how to, and then and everyone's a winner, it seems. Right. So for working now, yep, but it's still a work in progress. Uh, we got some uh, decals to put at the bottom yet for the winning criteria, but this is, uh, you know, kind of a, a, uh, it's going to help explain how, you know, with little effort, uh, recycling and, and sustainability does not have to be as difficult as and Liz. Talk about this. Okay, so over here we have kind of a baseball toss game. Um, what you do is you grab a baseball. Yeah. Um, and you yeah. see some bad oh, stuff wow. on I'm here. Gonna catch her. <laughs> There's bad things on here right now, so like plastic bags. Um, if I go ahead and just throw this baseball, oops, oops. Yeah. Oh, you got there it. Go. There we go. Oh. So then you got to go green bag. Um, on the flip side. Oh, yeah. cool. Very cool. You know, that's the idea. That's what makes Northern Spark so awesome, I think, is that, first of all, something magical happens in the middle of the night. <laughs> and you get this art that is so, it just pops mm -hmm. against the darkness. And then the interactivity. So it starts at 9 o'clock on Saturday night. And that goes all overnight till 526. Is that what it is? So right? Take a nap before you go. <laughs> That's right. Dust to dawn. Dust to dawn. So it's free and two main spots, the Minneapolis Convention Center and also down by the Mill City Museum. Exactly. We'll see you guys. We'll talk a little more about this in our next hour. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you. This weekend, we know artists from all over the country are going to take over Minneapolis with a message about climate change. It's part of a free event called Northern Spark that attracts tens of thousands of people every year. And joining us this morning is Steve D and Roy Elt and Liz Wollner with more on what we can expect. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. Yeah, thank you. So this is an all-night event. You might want to take a nap before you go, but really it's, it's a big party. You've got a lot of different installations that people can check out. What can people expect to see? Well, we're going to have huge projections under the gold medal silos. We're going to have a, a kind of carnival set up. We're going to have tours along the river. We're going to have interactive walkways. There are a ton of different things, both in the Guthrie, the Mill City Museum, and all around the um, Mill City area, as well as over at the Convention Center, where you can try out the big wolf and the Dan big moose and make it talk and make it howl. 50 different art installations from yep. different artists all throughout the city. Uh, Rory and Liz, there's something special about this happening in the middle of the night, I think. Yeah. There's a different energy that you expect, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it, it's uh, interesting. That's kind of, kind of what pushed us towards doing a carnival theme in the first place. Um, but uh, yeah, just bring the, the people in under the, the low lighting and the excitement, um, you know, all throughout the night. Um, gonna, gonna be a lot of fun. And Liz, you brought in some examples of what you put together. The theme, of course, is climate change. So how mm -hmm. does what, did you, what you brought in uh, relate to that? Um, well, so starting over here with this game, um, we have kind of a flipboard theme going on. All right, Kim's All gonna right, throw. Here we go. Let's you see can I see can we have some bad Let's things that we'd like to change. Okay. So if we so hit the board, try to knock them out. Yeah. yeah. Right. Without breaking things. All right. Oh. Here's. All right. Get another try. Good. Yep. Go okay. for it. Oh man, oh, this is harder gonna... than it looks. There, there you go. go. Jason, there you so, the trash, and the yep. trash became oh, recycling. That's recycling. Fine. That's that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very cool. And then you got you brought, brought in a yep. plinko game. It yep. Looks so, like. yep. Yeah. And this, this guy's uh, kind of to communicate. We have a single sort system in Minneapolis-St. Paul, 
um, and it's uh, it's kind of uh, just communicating that uh, it's not as difficult to recycle um, and and make a big impact. Um, it, it is not like playing a plinko game where you, <laughs> yeah. you know, throw your trash out. And <laughs> but I like that you're using recyclable bottle caps. Exactly. Yep. So that's fun too. Steve, climate change is pretty heavy stuff. You are going to have some workshops and speakers and things like that overnight. But you really want to make this is fun. I mean, we don't want people to think like, oh, come to our overnight climate change seminar, right? There's only going to be two lectures that you have to sit through, but the rest of the time will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have restaurants participating, and I know. Restaurants tell participating us about the launch party Saturday night. The launch night. party is from 7 to 9. We still have some tickets on sale, two for one sale, till noon today. And it's really the one fundraiser we do for this free event for the entire community. Ten so restaurants as a part of that. Ten restaurants, some Fulton sponsoring it, um, some cider. It's going to be a really fun event. Doc's Robotics is going to be doing the music. Really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a great party. If you've never been, you got to do it. It is a great time. Thank you guys so much. Have a great time this weekend.